His musical talent and ambition had him touring the country, but our guest today from the vault calls Central Illinois home. He even had a show for years right here on WCIA3. I want to welcome Marvin Lee to the vault. Good to have you, Marvin. Well, Thanks thank you very here. much. Glad to be here. Yeah, so you, you're originally from St. Joe, right? I live on a farm about five miles north of St. Joe. Okay, yeah. and that was actually the very beginnings of your love affair, really, with country music. Mom yeah. had me sing at reunions. You know, they have a reunion. Well, they'd put me out there, and I sing Star Spangled Banner wave, Waving Somewhere or Old Shep or some of those good old country songs. And uh, that's kind of how I got started. And then she took me to take accordion lessons. Picked that up when I was 10 years old. When I was 14 years old, picked up a guitar. And uh, we had square dance. We had 4-H square dance is what we did. And uh, for entertainment, they would have the square dance, you know, the meeting and the square dance. So I got to play some of them good old hoedown songs. And, and we came back again and uh, started playing some music in a place in Urbana called a Rose Bowl. Sure. And uh, there was a guy in uh, a WKID was uh, a country station over or they played country over in Urbana. It's not there anymore. Uh, his name was the country gentleman Joe Ryder. He swung us an audition with the manager of the Grand Ole Opry. No kidding. Right. Now that's pretty hard to do nowadays. It's um, impossible. Yeah. I got to play a thing down there called the Midnight Jamboree. After the Opry, they have the Ernest Tubb Record Shop. There was another guy that just came to town, and they had invited him to sing too, just like me. I just came to town. They invited him to sing, and they invited me to sing. He made it. I didn't. His name was Stonewall Jackson, Waterloo, and some of those songs. Oh yeah. And so he made it. I didn't. So <laughs> <laughs> I know the Sangamon Valley Boys over there at Decatur. They they uh, got to do a t television show called Corn Belt Country Style, and why don't we try something here? You know. So I. Got a group together and we auditioned. Well, actually, let me just say I walked in the front door of CIA, WCIA, and they had just started with tape to, to record stuff. They didn't even have that and color. This this is a way back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so uh, uh, he said, "I'll I'll let you do it, but on one condition that you have an audition. People from all over this viewing area come in and audition." for the television show. And you can pick your guest out of that group, which I did. I heard about this fiddle player. I said, I'll just check that out. Oh, that would be a good addition to a show. A little a girl playing violin, you know, mm -hmm. 10 years old. She could play that fiddle, the hoedown song, just like I played for the square dance, you know. And so I got ready to leave, and before I got ready to leave, by the way, have you tried to sing? No, she hadn't tried to sing it yet. So I left your cheating heart, and I saw the light with her as a recording, you know, and to learn those couple songs. So we're going to practice next Tuesday night over here at Mike's Barbershop in Urbana. And so she came over there, and she was playing and singing. And, of course, her name is Allison Krauss. You, you bring up all these people that, that started here, went on to go do different things, people that you've worked with. How important has it been to you to mentor well, you get some satisfaction out of seeing uh, them develop. I've got a young boy that plays with us now. It's it Logan Kirby, who when he was started out, he was a Bashful High School kid. And uh, now he can do Elvis. He can do Johnny Cash. In fact, he does the Million Dollar Quartet now over in Indiana. Thanks for sharing some stories with us from the vault. Even better yet, Marvin is going to do a song for us a little bit later in the show. Stick around for that. We'll be right back.